On the 15th of January 2020, I traveled to the Ghats of Banaras. If you ask how she was, she was indeed so beautiful, full of life yet so poised. She showed me her vibrant colors, her noise, her voice, her laughter, her love, and most importantly, she taught me patience. This video is all about my journey to the Ghats of Banaras to witness and to experience what I saw and felt. It's not just any travel film but something you must sit down to absorb and see through my eyes. Aao dekhe Banarsi Ghat ek baar meri nazar se. What's up guys, it's me Larissa. Welcome to my channel. So where in the world am I today? I am in one of the world's oldest living cities, that's Varanasi. And I'm here to explore the intense culture, the people and everything that's got to do with food. I'm super grateful to be here because this place has been on my bucket list since a year now. And to be finally doing it, to be experiencing it and to be living each vibe is crazy because this place has something very very unique to offer and I want you guys to also experience it with me so stay tuned because you guys are in for a treat keep watching we started our first day in the evening at Pandey Ghat every part of Banaras opens into the river Ganga and every part of the river bank has a Ghat and as always, I'm traveling with a very interesting bunch this time. I'm traveling with some really talented photographers and videographers and you guys have to meet them. Meet my talented friends Aditya, Shraddha and Maharshi. Hi, I'm Aditya. I'm a cinematographer. I do videos. I am a photographer and an artist. I do still, still photography, travel and I sketch. I'm a freelance photographer as well and I'm here at this place for the second time I guess and yeah. we are actually loving it. As you can see these guys haven't had enough and we're back here for that reason. So we're going to have a very wholesome experience and take you along with us. So stay tuned. We just came in today in the afternoon and we are very hungry. It's it's 7 p.m. and we've been just walking around the place to explore it a little before we head into actually exploring it intensely. So right now we're pretty hungry so we're heading to this cafe right here that's called Lucy's Cafe. It's a vegetarian cafe right by the guards. It's vegan. And it's vegan also so if you're vegetarian or vegan please come here and visit this place. Actually Lucy who's uh, the cafe named after and she's a rottweiler but so 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 friendly i've never met a rottweiler who's this friendly lucy's cafe is right on the banks of pande ghat and has a vibe of its own with the most special antiques and the best music Here is actually good and uh, if you come here you need to try the Lucy special tea. It's so good. It has a flavor of uh, some amazing spices. I don't know what's it. Here we ate some snacks and then also played with Lucy. And with that ends day one. By the way, this is the hostel we stayed in. This is the common room where you meet new people and just chill around. A lot of thoughtful touches to this place. And this is the dormitory we picked for the four of us. Day two, and right now we are heading towards Assi Ghat, yes. which is the southernmost Ghat of Varanasi, and uh, it's more of a touristy area. And uh, there's a lot 
for us to engage in there. Like there are a lot of cafes, restaurants, uh, hot air balloon rides, um, a lot of things you can usually do. Uh, more than this area that we're living in, um, you don't see a lot of tourists here. There are a lot of tourists, but not many. So as many you would see in uh, Asi Ghat. So whenever like I've asked for recommendations for Varanasi, everybody's said go to Asi Ghat because that place is indeed very good, right? Yeah, yeah. And she's been there, so yeah. le let's let's explore that part We're today. We're going to take a boat. We're going to take a boat to Asi Ghat. So that's interesting. Let's let's do that. So this is where our hostel is. This is the Shashwamedh Ghat. It's quite noisy, and uh, there are a lot of things happening around here. This is where the main aarti happens. So we started walking by the Ghat towards Asi Ghat because we thought that would be more engaging instead of taking a boat straight to Asi Ghat. Like I said, all Ghats are along the bank of the river, and as you keep walking, you'll find a lot of different kinds of people doing their daily business different characters and a lot of things you won't find anywhere else. There's always someone taking a dip in the Ganga, sipping onto some chai or someone just taking a nap. So this is Samir Kumar who is the artist of all these paintings. Which ghat? Which ghat is this? This is Pandey Ghat. Uh, wow, I'm so fluent with the ghats now. I personally love this one, which would go with my house and the theme of my house and this. So maybe on the way back, we can pick it up. As we walked along, we had to take a mandatory stop for some chai. and ran into some travellers with interesting stories. Hi. Hi. Uh, What's your name? My name is Maha and Maha. I come from the south of France. South of France, so that's a long way. How long have you been visiting Varanasi? Um, on and off for the last four years. Wow. And what's, what's this one thing that you really love about this place that keeps getting you back here? I guess everyone is really afraid of death, you know? Oh, yeah. And um, if you find a place where people are actually okay to die, then it's very soft to live in. Okay. So it is, there's so much life here. There's yeah, that's true. There's so much things happening and there's the Ganga, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, there's the Ghat, there's amazing, amazing vibration here. It's it's really, that that's true. The vibe here is so intense and you just want to like be on the Ghat and experience and feel the whole energy here. It's so nice to meet you. So we met here uh, when we had when we were having chai, and it's lovely to meet people from all over the world coming uh, coming to Varanasi and experiencing it and enjoying it truly. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Gaz. Saiva. Saiva. Aapko chai <laughs> I'm Kobe. High five. <laughs> Here in Varanasi, you have to come to Rajagat and meet Lakshman Baba. He makes the most amazing chai. Or uh, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Walking along the ghats, and uh, right now we are at. Maha Nirwani Ghat and it started to rain. Because the rain, it rained, you see the sky is clear. No, the sky is much clearer, there's less fog, but there's absolutely no one at the ghats now. All this amazing beauty all to ourselves. Uh, we're still walking towards Asi Ghat. And how far is it guys? Ten minutes. Ten, minutes. Ten more minutes to walk. And uh, yeah, we've just been enjoying all that we've come across so far. It's the, you know, the, it, that applies so well to the saying that your destination is not that important, your journey is more important. <laughs> I don't know how to phrase the phrase again, but you got my point. Uh, Rohit here and uh, he has a boat. Which one is your boat? This one, my boat. Oh, that one is his boat, this one. We have four boats. Oh, you have four boats. Four boats. This is my uncle boat and one boat we make myself. 
Oh, wow. over there, a small one. Small one. I can show you. Okay, let's see. Let's go and watch Rohit's boat. Thermocol ka boat. Thermocol ki boat kyu banayi hai? Haan, thermocol ki boat banayi hai ghumne ke liye. Ghumne ke liye. Aur ye bhi cha cha ka boat hai. Oh, ye bada wala. Haan. We have four boat, two motor and two hand. Yeah, Rohit, give me a high five. I am fifteen. One thing you really need to do when you're in Varanasi is have the lemon tea that you get at the ghats and uh, I'm going to taste this one and tell you how it's like. Clear? Mm. Wow, it's so good. We are at Assi Ghat and we are walking inside the lanes of Assi Ghat and we are actually looking for a nice chart place yes. to eat something and uh, because there are a lot of things that are uh, very unique in Varanasi that's tomato chart then there is uh, dahi some chart, some dahi, chart, chart. Dahi chart and uh, some more stuff so I'm going to show you what the food is like I'm so excited and we've just had breakfast no lunch it's almost 4 p.m. So we're all ready to eat a lot of food. Now we are at Madhu Bahar for some chat and uh, we're just walking around. We're gonna taste some good chart i'm so excited for this one now when you come to varanasi there are some chart items you must try the kachori chart dahi chart are some that we tried here at assi ghat how's it So we are in this cafe called Mark's Cafe and um, the ambience here is pretty chilled out and uh, this is what the place looks like. One of the best masala omelets I've had in a while. Really? This is the pasta, guys. Nice. That's it? Yes. Very, Give very nice. <laughs> it's so yummy, I tell you. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> So right now we are in a rickshaw, we are heading towards the hotel because we are pretty far and we don't want to walk back. Uh, yeah, so we are just going through the city and what? Yeah, we are in the south of uh, Varanasi. It's so cold in now. <laughs> we are in the south and look at look at both of us, we just look like we belong to this yeah, place. I, love this. I think that's what is about travel, like yeah. when you absorb it so much, when you treat it like it's yours. That's when you enjoy it the most. Don't you agree? If you agree with this, comment and tell me that you agree with this. Before we could head to the hostel, we took a pit stop to buy some Banarsi saris. Something you must pick when you come to Banaras. So many options and I'm actually going for this one. 
because it's such a nice no i'm going for this one actually actually even contemplating on getting this one so this is a yep kaun sa sikori sikori so this is called sikori uh, the other one i picked is a banarsi silk where is it the classic banarsi sari also banarsi sarees are among the finest sarees in india A trip to Varanasi is never complete without the Banarsi paan. So right now we're going to have some Banarsi paan. So excited when I was a kid, my dad used to take me to the paan place, paan shop and we used to have some paan, some meetha paan and uh, to be doing it again. So this is how a paan is usually made. All the special ingredients like aragonuts, gulkand are added to the paan and you literally just shove the whole thing inside your mouth and eat it. I personally love it. With this ends day 2 and the first episode of the Banaras series. Coming up next is the second and final episode that will make you want to experience the essence of Varanasi once in your lifetime at least. Tere ghar aaya main aaya tujhko lene dil ke badle mein dil ka nazara na lene maate ki bindiya क्या बोले ऐसा फिर क्या साजन जी साजन जी घर आए साजन और घर आए